what readers welcome or welcome back I'm Ariel and we're gonna be going over tips for some eyeliner because you know what if this was school and we were like going to ask you know me what is my worst subject in school it would be eyeliner okay in the makeup world it'd be eyeliner um, I don't like it I guess his I'm a perfectionist and if I see slightly anything off if I see anything off I'm just like forget it I'll take the whole thing off I won't even put it so most most of my looks have been without eyeliner sometimes I notice that I'm like I should be doing some eyeliner because you know when you spend time and when you don't doubt yourself come out with some good looks so maybe these tips will help you too because these are the tips I use for myself Let's take a deep breath. Get the nerves out. It's just eyeliner. You can wipe it off. So if you're a beginner or you think you're gonna mess up, just start off with your eyes first. Don't put anything on your face and let the eyeliner fall where it may. <laughs> but first, if you have oily eyelids, definitely I would say prime your eyelids with your eyeshadow base um, and maybe some powder because I know if I don't do that, this eyeliner will be all over the top lid for sure okay or if you're sweaty um you're in a hot zone like i'm here in texas i would definitely recommend that so you won't have smudging of your eye liner on your eyelid okay definitely recommend that. next up would be map it out map out what you're gonna do like put dots of where you want your eyeliner to go um put dots where you want it to like come onto your eye literally envision it you just sit there i would literally sit there even now and i'm like envision it in my head so that would be your second step first step would be to prime your eyes if you need to put that powder make sure it's just dry if you're really really oily uh, prepare it right prepare your base for the eyeliner second would be like i said envision it map it out map out what you're going to do and that can be with some eyeshadow or it can just be like you know in your head you're just like envisioning it so that you know like where your muscle like your muscle memory is gonna go that's what i would do the third step would be look forward do not close one eye and do your eyeliner because i feel like even for hooded eyelids if you don't look at least a third of the way down or straight forward it's not going to come out how you want i've noticed that on myself it's better if i just keep my eyes open will show you what I've been doing with my eyeliner first um, people like to do eyeliner like completely from the inner duct all the way out I actually think for hooded eyes or smaller eyes it's better for me to start here and get that line super precise like that almost 75% of the way and just take your time if you're struggling like I kind of struggle with eyeliner, I just take my time, I don't even care. I don't care. Then I start going a little bit more out and this is just a flick, a flick of the wrist. Have your eyeliner, whichever one's your favorite, I'm not even going to say um, like use a certain one because it's whatever you feel comfortable with. I have this Mora Beauty Eyeliner and I like it because the tip is so precise. I like personally, a very thin like line like point because it feels like I have a little bit more control and how thick the eyeliner will be so like I said it's your preference on which eyeliner um, you feel comfortable with the felt um, brush like anything gel and you're using like a brush um, that's for eyeliner like anything I feel like it's more precise when it's like really small of a brush like this almost and really tiny and I'm gonna start the corner and flick, gentle. Flick on where you wanna go and how far you wanna go out. So I'm gonna make a small one, okay? And usually it lines up with that eyebrow. Okay, so you're mapping it all out. This can be done with, like I said, an eyeshadow. If you notice, I'm still looking up, I'm not closing my eyes. And the fourth step would be just go for it. Like I'm gonna go for it right now and just look, I put that line here and this line and I'm gonna connect. I'm going for it. Okay. 
and then you fill it in. And I'll show you how it looks because I'm not gonna fill in this part. You can, and I feel like that actually works for bigger eyes, but I have a small eye and I want it to make like an illusion that it is a bigger eye. And then if I need to fix the little line, the point to make more pointy, I just use this little, that's why I like this eyeliner. This little edge helps me do that. So you fill it in and I look at you, look at that. It looks more open. So I'm gonna do a regular eyeliner on this side and show you the difference because a lot of people do it that way. And I usually complete this section when I put lashes on. The next way is another technique I use on myself. And I did this eye a certain way, but I'm going to try to match it up, but with like a different starting point. So I'm looking at where I want the line to be. Always look straight forward. And I think it looks better like that. And I'm just gonna put the line. I'm gonna go for it because usually if you do it fast, my hand is steady, but if I do it slow, I'm like this. So I'm gonna look a little bit a third of the way down. Look at that and just go for it. Then I complete it to where I want or where I think that it uh, I try to get it as symmetrical as possible. I try to get it symmetrical as possible, even though we are not always super symmetrical, but I try to be. And this is gonna be a more like, okay, then you're gonna go to the corner and flick up to complete. This might be a bigger line. But I wanted to show you that technique. And then fill it in. Spread it more out. And then you can do all your corrections, make the line straighter. Oh, you see that? See, that liner is more up. This is a larger liner. But I like to do my liner like this as well shorter eyeliner, longer, more extended, and I did a different starting point. And either way, it will look amazing. And I'm gonna complete this one. Let's look at as close as to your lashes as possible. Okay, and that's the eyeliner I would use to put a lash on. I do a like a dramatic liner. This is a more short one that I would use for like a more toned down look and this is a more dramatic look I would use this for and this is all how comfortable you are at the starting points that you want to start with so the second technique I used was like starting off with the wing shape first sometimes that works like I don't know sometimes I'm more comfortable doing that the other days I start off with those points I started off with and somehow it works for me do you see the difference do you see that the left side looks more open than the other side that I would use for like lashes the left side looks a little bit more open and I would just put mascara on that side um, if I'm going like about my business. First side note, hello, hello. While I'm doing my liner, um, it all depends too on what eyeliner you wanna use. A brush or this one's a felt tip, but it's very small and precise because I feel like I have more control, okay? There's some liners I don't like that are like the liquid eyeliners and like the brush is so flimsy, you have no control. I need control. Okay, it just like comes out way better, in my opinion. <laughs> so it depends on what you feel comfortable with. And you gotta practice that. Practice your shape and practice your brush stroke. And I promise you, after that, you're gonna be a genius at doing eyeliner. If you ever had a mess up, the last final step would be clean up your eyeliner. You can use concealer. If you did it when you had foundation, use some of your foundation and clean it up with a very precise brush or even a wipe with your nail like that and flick it out and it's all good. Or you can just take the whole thing off, start over. It's not a big deal. It's makeup, you can take it off. I had to tell myself that. Yeah. 
It's almost um, through my eyeliner out the window. I'm gonna leave this eyeliner up, but sometimes when I have eyeshadow, like a whole eyeshadow look, I put my line, line first, then I go like this, especially with hooded eyes, and I make the eyeliner into my like a very thick, thick liner, and then put my shadows like all right here, so it looks like I have eyeliner. And let me wipe this one off. Okay, so I'm wiping that off, um, and I'll do another uh, liner look. Uh, but for the other side, that thick liner, I know it looks scary, but that is what I do when I mess up my liner when I have eyeshadow on my eyes already. Um, I do that. I just make it thicker like that. And then um, I'll show you what I do just to make it look like, oh, oh, look, I got graphic eyeliner. I totally meant to do that, um, but I really didn't. So that happens to me a lot. So I'll do like a thicker eyeliner and you'll see me right now. I'm putting eyeshadow uh, with my fingers because I don't have my brushes in front of me. And I want to show you how it looks uh, when I'm like, I mess up or have a thick liner and I just kind of blend it in to make it work with the eyeshadow look. And then also um, those precise lines, I'm so used to it, but don't forget you can use tape or there's there's like eyeliner tape that's already like made for that that doesn't pull on your skin too much like the elf one or makeup murder um definitely tape like you gotta like touch it before like you put it on your face or you're going to be ripping off your skin no, i'm just kidding <laughs> um but see what i'm doing with this eyeliner right now look at that is genius okay when you mess up just blend it into your look just make it work it'll work shadow like that and then I'll put like a line almost making it a cut crease so it looks like it's a huge eyeliner and like I put some effort there solved it solved the world hunger um like I said you can put dots like here and I want it to go right there and right there that's literally, you can connect the dots. Flick out to that last dot, and then go past it. Then that's where you put the eyeliner down and go straight across and down. I just make it to the line I want. I build it up from there, and then I stop here, but you can keep going. That's what you like. All right, so I know it went a little fast because now I'm used to it, but I promise you I was so slow. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta take your time. And that eyeliner is gonna come out perfect, okay? It will. You keep working at it. You keep doing the shape that you need for yourself. And it's gonna come. So the first tip was to prime your eyes. Get it ready. Get it clean. However you want it. Second is to map it out. Map it out. Put dots like I did for this one. Put dots where you want it. Um, envision it. Maybe put, like I said, um, like a brown or a lighter shadow map it out then follow the line with your eyeliner that always works too I did that a bunch of times three the third tip is to look forward do not shut one eye and do the eyeliner on that shut eye no just look forward or look slightly down that way you can do your line up here um, and you can see how it looks when you're actually looking at someone <laughs> four is go for it just do it just practice just do it you're not i promise you it's not as bad as you think it actually probably looks pretty good um even if it doesn't oh well you're gonna continue to do it and get better from there just like i did <laughs> i probably am bad still at eyeliner compared to other people but oh well and fifth one is you can clean it up you can wipe it off you can get a wipe to wipe off you know any bad edges you can get concealer and like i said sometimes i have to hide my bad eyeliner with foundation i just like tap it in there and set it all again and boom it's like it never happened never happened evidence where i don't know and another side side note is you gotta pick your eyeliner you gotta get comfortable with the eyeliner you want to get comfortable with um because these tips will help with whatever eyeliner you're using uh, because you always have to have like a primed eye if you're oily or just 
um, your makeup look if you want or anything primed, put it on first. Then you get uh, your envisioning and your mapping out. That works with all these liners. Third is looking forward. Don't close your eyes. Don't, I wouldn't even, um, like people are like, oh my gosh, I keep stretching out my eyelid. You're not supposed to do that yet. Yeah, don't, just don't even touch it. Because how your face is right now, how it's set, not going like this is how your eyeliner is going to look. Because if I go like this, it's going to move the shape. So don't even, just leave your eye, leave it alone. Leave it alone. I learned that from experience. I literally was like, ah, and then it would just be like crooked. Ugh, it wouldn't even look right. Um, fourth, just go for it. Just do it. You can do it. You're going to get amazing at eyeliner. promise you. promise you that. Fifth, you're going to be able to clean it up. You're going to be able to clean it up. You're going to be able to wipe it off. You're going to be able to hide your mistakes um, with makeup or a wipe. Usually I like baby wipes because <laughs> there's baby wipes all around this house. Um, so I just get baby wipes and clean up, like get a tear little piece off and kind of use my nail and like, there, boom, finish. It's done. Eyeliner's fixed. So thank you so much for staying with me for like this little quick, uh, quick tips for eyeliner especially um if you're struggling like i am currently still but i used to struggle a lot a uh, couple a couple days ago no it's kidding <laughs> a couple years ago um but it would definitely help me so hopefully i helped you thank you so much for staying with me and you have a great rest of your day don't forget to like and subscribe and be on the lookout look out for more vids um more eyeshadow looks more look more talk about makeup more cheese meh and adios